Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Sweet talk. You ever sweet talk your kids? You're in the store and they're acting a fool because they want something. And you're, oh, Johnny, no, Johnny, stop. Johnny, don't do this, don't do that. Well, they fall out on the floor, put on a grand performance until you give in to what they want. And we just sweet talk them to try to get them to stop this behavior. Let me tell you something, y'all. <clears throat> the devil is coming for us. The devil wants your family, your kids. And we are people pleasers. We want to do whatever it takes to please them and shut them up and just make them leave us alone. We have to stop, stop conforming. We don't say can't. We don't say no. We don't say stop. We don't say it's wrong anymore. That's the problem with our children today. That's the problem with this world today. That's why things are getting out of control because we never apply discipline anymore. Um... We don't want to stand up for what's right. We let our daughters, boyfriends stay the night. We let our sons, girlfriends spend the night. Sleep over. Um... We have to restore order. They torment our teachers, torment our bus drivers. They yell, scream, throw stuff, won't stay seated. They have no discipline. They're doing drugs, staying out all night. And they tell you that you can't judge me. Only God can judge me. <laughs> they think they have control. And they do. They just do what they want to do. Um, we need to reach them before God judgment because you don't want to wait until God's judgment because then it will be too late. You and them will find themselves in, a, in the lake of fire. We have a problem doing God's will, but we let the devil have his way in our lives. Um, I'm going to leave you with 2 Corinthians 6, verse 17 and 18. We got to get the devil out of our houses, people. Take care, stay blessed, and as always, I love you.